Well, flu season looming. Knox County leaders are working to make sure schools stay as germ-free as possible, and they want to do that in the safest way possible. One of the topics discussed at tonight's Board of Commissioners meeting was better sanitation for our schools. Well, WATE 6 on your side reporter Jordan Brown was there, and Jordan, what'd you learn tonight? Well, Bo and Kristen, a lot of people don't realize just how fast bacteria can spread inside of schools. The methods and tools used for cleaning are decades old, and according to county leaders, the products are harmful to students and custodians, but a better sanitation solution was proposed tonight. The old products are toxic. Uh, they're causing lung trouble. They're causing fertility problems. With flu season creeping in, county commissioners propose what they say is a better and safer way to sanitize local schools. Back in February, some schools were closed due to excessive illness. One local physician recruited an innovative company to help prevent this from happening again. We are producing a product that is going to change the industry of sanitation and disinfection. Ionogen says they provide safe and effective cleaning products for a healthier atmosphere in public buildings. They've recently done studies within the Knox County School District to support their proposal. We took two schools in the district and we went into the school and what we did is we would test before and then we would spray our product and then we would test after. In the study, use of ionogen products showed a significant drop in bacteria after just one misting. But the products that we're using in the building, they may kill germs, but what if they kill us? What if they're harmful to us? And for the last 30 years, schools have had to use chemicals that are actually very harsh and very difficult on the workers who are responsible for the health of the building. Ionogen products are not only safer, but they're easier for custodial workers to use, more cost efficient, and they last longer. It is more than disruptive technology. It is transformative to the industry for the future. So what's the next step? Now Ionogen will put together a proper proposal for the commissioners so that a financial evaluation can be made. Then if approved, the program will be put in place in Knox County Schools. Guys? All right, Jordan, thank you very much. And we should note there is no timeline set for creating that proposal.